हेलो एवरीवन easily one shot down most squishies in a blink of an eye however he is the same too he can be one shotted down as well high risk high reward one of the best heroes for split push and hit and run mechanics just use ulti to blind enemies and steel towers or their damage dealers sneaky ganker early on nasty one shot or later in the game natalia is what an assassin means when she's fully built a slow early game forces her to look for gank opportunities to get farm faster and build items quickly The show begins once the items are built. She can be invisible, sneak behind the enemy and instantly kill and go invisible again. She is too deadly later on in the game. She eliminates all possibilities of split pushing or solo roaming. Her presence is enough to scare the enemy. Late game, full build, 500 stacks. That's not Aldo. That's Death himself marching on you. 
he is not someone you would like to see on the enemy team later in the game you would even curse the devs for making such a hero he has some crazy tankiness and a massive one shot punch squishy or tanky it doesn't matter all going to go down when he punches he has a slow early game when he needs to build up stacks and gears like endless battle and thunder wild but oh boy once he has those up it's not something you want to fight against especially not when you are squishy mage His global reveal and chase ult just makes it impossible for you to split push later on in the game. Late game and link on enemy side. That's not a place you would like to be in. especially when you don't know which wall he will come from he is a lot based on items and gank timing so either he gets his kill by ganking on the right time or just overpowering you like crazy and by overpowering that's something you do when you build items that is the late game Once he is built, it gets really hard to stop him. With him constantly hopping around, it gets harder to land skill shots on him. And when you think you cornered him, here comes his ult to turn the tables. Angela really she is deadly most people will have such thoughts while they underestimate her but imagine this you are being chased by a fat aldo slash leo mod and suddenly a shield pops over them that is more than half of their hp that's not it now that leo slash aldo start shooting waves that slow you down while healing and speeding them that's what nightmares looks like Angela has the heal, the slow and the global ult that can provide massive shields to one of our ally. She is everything you need. You can purposely send your teammates on split push and when he gets into a 1v1 fist fight, you can ult on him to make it a 2 versus 1 massacre. So what's the late game? The slow become way way more deadly. The enemy has to flicker away else They just gonna get one shotted. Every time that fights back when you hit, but what if he fights back even harder? That's Belric for you. With his passive to gain more HP from items, he is one hell of a tanky character. Moreover, more the HP he has, the stronger he hits back. His passive also shoots back when an enemy hits him. So he is tanky in the sense enemies are afraid to hit him as they will get hit back. But what if they were forced to hit? That's where Belric's taunt comes in. Pair it with vengeance and just watch them burn. At late game, he becomes too beefy and hits back harder too. Truria beast in its natural habitat.
नॉट मैनी पीपल प्ले हर नॉट मैनी नो हर पोटेंशियल टू रैक डाउन एनिमी प्रिया इज देर टू प्रे अपॉन हर एनिमी Prya relies on her basic attacks for most of her damage, which in early game isn't enough. Plus, most heroes these days kite well. So even if she catches them, they can turn the tables by moving away from her reach and then re-engage when her skills are over. However, when built, her damage greatly rises and she can exterminate her enemies before they can run away from her. She massacres her enemies in the late game. With her passive to grant her bonus attack speed, she is very hard to stop. Lastly, Rafaela. To straight up say, she is a goddess. Heals, slows, speed up, and stun. Her arsenal is everything you need in the late game. She speeds up her allies to ensure they can rotate a lot faster and reach to gank position which they normally couldn't have. Her healings give them extra health they need to extend the team fight in their favor. The slows and stuns stop the enemies to move away from her. Everything you ever need. The utilities become even more crucial in the late game, as you can potentially avoid ganks and even gank enemies on your own easily. So that would be it from this video. Those were some of my strongest heroes in the late game. Let us know about yours. Thanks for watching.